uh, that's the only reason I'm going to vote against the Mayor. I, I think we should be doing a workshop first and this uh, would follow second. Councillor Cordo. Thank you, Mayor. A couple of questions in, uh, I guess, a follow-up to Councillor Wasser's contribution just then. Would it be possible to um, see the report and then have a workshop on it? I thought yes. so. Yeah, I thought so. Thanks. Um, secondly, um, I'm aware that um, there's constant resource constraints on the on the planning staff. So I'm just, um, firstly, I I'm just want to say that I support this motion. I think it's a great idea. But my question is just about um, what the opportunity cost is of diverting resources uh, towards this, and will that come at the expense of implementation of the planning review or anything like that? Ms. Tolomon. Um, through you, Mayor, um, the report will probably be written by me um, in, with input from other officers. It will take it's a significant amount of work because it is going to require a lot of um, legislation interpretation, um, looks at the schemes, it's going to probably deal with consultation with the um, other authorities such as the Planning Commission and the like, consultation with other councils is, other councils is um, advisable for this as well. Um, other resources there? Well, I, I couldn't be busier if I tried. I'm, I don't enjoy having to do work on Sundays and sending emails. Um, so without the resource, I'm still very busy having to deal with day-to-day -day applications and um, work like that. So I, I don't know how you overcome that. Um, but I, I wouldn't suggest... I mean, it could go to a consultant. It's a different bucket of money. But it's something we could do in-house and it would take some time to do it and I wouldn't expect it to happen too soon for all the statutory requirements we need to meet. Councillor Thanks, Mayor. I'd just like to make my brief contribution. Um, I thank uh, the Deputy Mayor for, for bringing this motion forward because I think I agree with the, the premise that Kingborough needs additional investment in infrastructure to support its growing population and I also agree that population growth from major residential subdivisions is placing a significant final financial strain on the council. And I do believe that there are, there are answers to be had by the preparation of this report where we could get significant value out of being able to identify some of those areas where we could reduce the economic burden on council, but also enhance economic development within the municipality. So I think that there is a growing urgency to find new sources of funding um, and uh, I guess it stands to reason that um, when there's a significant amount of economic windfall to be had from major subdeve subdevelopments going through within the neighbourhood, it stands to reason that um, some of that um, newfound wealth could be shared more equally and could also um, uh, could make efforts towards reducing economic inequality and also enhancing the services that council is able to provide. So I think there's, um, there's some really valid questions here, but I, I take note of the concerns um, raised by Ms. Uh, Tyler Moore about the resourcing, and I think um, we just need to tread carefully uh, because we don't want this report to come at the, at the cost of, of the, the business of planning. Um, however, on balance, I think that we're going to receive some real value from it, and so I will be supporting the motion. Thanks, Mayor.